For 2,000 years, the world obeyed one rule, Euclid's geometry. The fifth postulate, unquestioned, untouchable. Brilliant minds tried to prove it, and every single one of them failed. Aristotle, Ptolemy, even Gauss, the prince of mathematics, bowed before it. But then, a young Russian professor dared to do the unthinkable. He didn't try to prove the rule, he erased it. And in that act of heresy, Nikolai Lobachevsky opened the door to an entirely new universe. Nikolai Ivanovich Lobachevsky was born into a cold, silent Russia. The empire was grand, but most of its people lived in hardship. Nikolai's family was middle class, comfortable, but fragile. He would grow up smart, serious, and always just a little apart from the rest. When Nikolai was just seven years old, his father died. It shattered the family. His mother, determined to give her sons a future, packed everything and moved them to Kazan, a city known more for politics than education. Kazan was a city of contrast, part Orthodox, part Muslim, part Imperial, part forgotten. It was here, under grey skies and muddy streets, that Nikolai's mind would begin to bloom. His mother enrolled him at Kazan Gymnasium, one of the few paths for an orphaned boy to rise. At the gymnasium and later at Kazan University, Nikolai was quiet but brilliant. He devoured everything, mathematics, physics, languages. He wasn't interested in just passing, he wanted to understand. But his curiosity often pushed beyond what the textbooks allowed. Then came a mentor, Johann Christian Martin Bartels. He was more than a professor, he was a gateway. A friend of the legendary Karl Friedrich Gauss, Bartels recognized Nikolai's unusual mind. Under him, Nikolai didn't just learn mathematics, he learned to challenge it. Among all the formulas, one rule haunted him. Euclid's fifth postulate, the rule about parallel lines. It seemed wrong, too complex, too forced. For centuries, mathematicians had tried to prove it. Nikolai began to wonder, what if it wasn't true at all? What if the whole system was built on a flawed assumption? Nikolai began experimenting with alternative geometries. He didn't tell anyone, not yet. What he was thinking wasn't just new, it was dangerous. Most would have stopped there, he didn't. He wasn't just questioning geometry, he was redefining it. And in a world that still bowed to Euclid, Lobachevsky had just lit the match. Euclid's fifth postulate wasn't like the others. It was awkward. It didn't feel self-evident. For 2,000 years, brilliant minds tried to prove it using the other rules. And for 2,000 years, they failed. It became known as the parallel problem. The one rule that refused to behave. Then came the unthinkable. What if the postulate wasn't provable because it wasn't true? Lobachevsky's idea was heresy. He didn't try to prove the fifth rule. He tried to erase it. And when he did, a new world started to appear. In Lobachevsky's geometry, everything changed. Triangles had less than 180 degrees. Parallels weren't unique. Infinite lines could pass through a single point and never intersect. It wasn't nonsense. It was something no one had dared to see before. But no one believed him. His ideas were too strange, too bold. Professors dismissed them. Friends stayed silent. 
he couldn't publish in major journals. Even Kazan, the only place he called home, turned cautious. He called it imaginary geometry, but it was real. A world where space bent, curved and stretched in ways no one had imagined. It wasn't just math. It was a new kind of reality. One that would one day help us understand black holes, the shape of space itself. In 1829, Lobachevsky published his work in the Kazan Messenger. Few noticed, fewer understood. It was the birth of non-Euclidean geometry, not with applause, but with silence. No one knew it yet, but this was a revolution. Geometry no longer had to obey a single path. Lobachevsky had proved that other geometries could exist and that mathematics was not universal law, but human-made structure. He had done it. Without fanfare, without fame, Lobachevsky had opened the door to a new universe. A universe where space itself could bend. Someday, Einstein would walk through that door. But Lobachevsky built it. Lobachevsky had written his greatest work. He had changed the rules of space, but the world didn't care. Big journals in Europe ignored him. Famous mathematicians stayed silent. It was like he never existed. In 1827, he became the head of Kazan University. He wanted to improve science and make mathematics stronger, but his days were now filled with rules, meetings and reports not ideas. Not everyone liked Lobachevsky. Some teachers thought his ideas were dangerous. Others just didn't want change. They spoke behind his back, challenged his every decision. He fought, but it wore him down. He wanted help. He wanted someone to understand. He even thought of writing to the great Karl Gauss in Germany. But in the end, he didn't send the letter. He stayed quiet. Gauss had seen it. Quietly, secretly, he had come to the same ideas. He admired Lobachevsky's courage, but he never told him. He kept it all to himself. Years passed, his sight began to fade. Soon, he couldn't read or write, but he didn't stop teaching. He spoke from memory and still made his students believe in the power of mathematics. Lobachevsky lived quietly, forgotten by the world, poor, nearly blind, but still working. He had given everything to his ideas and got almost nothing back. In private, Gauss finally said the truth. Lobachevsky, he wrote, was a genius, one of the greatest. But Lobachevsky never knew. The world's praise came too late. In 1868, long after Lobachevsky's death, Italian mathematician Eugenio Beltrami saw what the world had missed. He demonstrated that Lobachevsky's geometry was not a fantasy, but a real and consistent system. For the first time, imaginary geometry had undeniable proof the silence that had buried Lobachevsky began to crack. By the late 19th century, Felix Klein and Henri Poincaré expanded Lobachevsky's vision. They turned hyperbolic geometry into a core tool for understanding mathematics and the physical world. What began as the work of an ignored Russian professor became the foundation for new fields. The mathematical world was finally catching up. Hyperbolic geometry revealed that space itself could be curved. Triangles could exist where angles added up to less than 180 degrees. Lobachevsky's impossible shapes were now seen in the heavens. What was once heresy became the language of the universe. In 1915, Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity needed a geometry where space could bend. The mathematics Lobachevsky had invented almost a century before fit perfectly. Without Lobachevsky's vision, Einstein's universe might have been impossible to describe. 
the man Russia forgot became the mathematician who shaped modern physics. Today, Kazan University remembers its most daring rector. His office, his books, and his desk remain, telling the story of a man who refused to bow to tradition. In these halls, his name is spoken with pride. The place where his struggle began is now a monument to his victory. In 1961, the International Astronomical Union named a lunar crater after him. His ideas, once locked away in obscure papers, now circled the moon. The name Lobachevsky would travel where he never could. From the banks of the Volga to the silent surface of the moon. The Russian Academy of Sciences created the Lobachevsky Prize to honor groundbreaking work in geometry. Each award celebrates the courage to think differently. It is a tribute not only to mathematical brilliance, but to the defiance that makes progress possible. Lobachevsky's name now stands for fearless discovery. You can ignore a man, but you can't ignore an idea. Today, Lobachevsky's geometry shapes our understanding of the stars, the earth, and the mind itself. His journey from obscurity to immortality is proof that truth cannot be silenced. Lobachevsky lives on in every line that dares to bend. If you're a student, teacher, or simply curious about the minds that shaped mathematics, we've built this page to give you a deeper look, from Lobachevsky's bold challenge to Euclid to the modern impact of non-Euclidean geometry on science and technology. Want to keep exploring with us? Follow our journey on social media for updates, interactive content, and more stories of the thinkers who changed the way we see the world. Thank you for discovering Lobachevsky's story with us.